Hello everyone and welcome to the presentation of Signer Smart Log Functions. Today we will present how to um, use Signer Smart Log A3F and all the function it has. So Signer Smart Log A3F is perfect for people, um, for any kind of user, uh, both private or uh, business, uh, because it can be installed both on like wooden doors or like safety doors or steel, any kind of doors that uh, that you need. So to begin with, uh, I will first explain um, what functions A3F log has. Uh, one of the functions it has is a Bluetooth e-key where you can open a um, door with your app by using Bluetooth settings and you can also send an e-key to other people uh, that you wish uh, to, to be able to access to your home. Also, this Bluetooth e key can be permanent or one time or cyclic depending on uh, who you give the key to. Um, so, Bluetooth key, e key is uh, sending uh, information to a cloud server that is uh, further sending information to the lock uh, for the new user to be able to open the door. Um, I will just send uh, now, I will do an example of a Bluetooth e key. So previously I have already installed the Signer app on my phone and I have connected it to this lock uh, to make it faster and easier to explain. And once I turn on the Bluetooth on my phone and I open the app, uh, here we have an um, icon that says locked uh, for the for the to the show that the door is locked. And once you press that icon only once, it unlocks the the lock. After 5 seconds, I've set it up that it locks again, so after 5 seconds, if you try to open it, it will not work, of course. So, uh, e key is perfect uh, if you just want to uh, give the permission to someone else to enter your apartment, or if you just, uh, of course, you don't need to carry a physical key anymore, no matter where you go, you just simply click the button and it opens uh, the door. Second option is a uh, passcode, like uh, as many other uh, smart locks, uh, this lock as well has a passcode, but also it has an option to send passcode to other people without the need that the lock connects to the gateway. Uh, so this is one of the patterns of Signer that uh, basically there is a way to send the passcodes to another user and to the lock uh, to be able to recognize that the other user has a passcode and be able to open it. Uh, as an example, I will just uh, generate one passcode as well through the app, so I registered before and I have an access as an admin. Um, and you have an option to be like permanent passcode time, one time or custom passcode, depending on who you give the passcode to. So let's say you have a client uh, or agent uh, bringing a client visiting your apartment, you can just give them one time passcode to enter um, and after that you will receive a record that they, what time they entered uh, in your apartment. So to begin with, I'll just do a permanent, because it's the first option you have, a permanent passcode. I will not give it a name, I'll just click on the button to generate it and it will give me one uh, passcode that automatically generates by that app and this password is 7568756 so once you go so 7568756 and it here and it, it unlocks after 5 seconds it will lock again so basically you don't need any access to gateway uh, from your lock. Um, you just need to. You can just simply send any kind of passcode to to anyone, and they will be able to to enter, which is great. I mean, most of the locks now they have they have to be connected to gateways in order to have a communication how to um, give an access to to open the door. So after Bluetooth, uh, after a Bluetooth e key and a passcode. Uh, this lock also has IC card and fingerprint. Um, IC card is perfect for hotels, like uh, they can easily uh, give um, access with IC cards to, to their guests. Uh, but also at the same time for uh, private users, if they don't want to bother with um, carrying the keys as well, I mean with the uh, e-keys or passcodes, typing it, in, typing it in, they can just have a card that they will just easily uh, swipe here and uh, the lock will open. 
the good thing is also that this lock has integrated uh, IC card writer, so it can write um, a code of a card that uh, you later can use to access. So you don't need a card reader or card writer uh, on the site. So here I have prepared also that is already installed, um, I mean already written card. And just to demonstrate, you just uh, the same as any other lock, you just put it to the lock and you open. And then after 5 seconds it locks again. But uh, the good thing is that you can also write, um, send this code to, uh, to other cards. You can just write them, you don't need a card, card writer. Also, uh, beside that, yes, this lock has also a fingerprint uh, reader and writer. Uh, so I have set up already that this lock uh, can write my fingerprint in order to access. There's a fingerprint reader right at the lock, and you can simply come closer to the lock, as you can see from here. So, if I didn't do it well, if I, my thumb was a bit higher, it would not do it, but it has to be clear. Yes, and unlock the lock. In this way, after 5 seconds, locks again. Um, so that is, yeah, also that everything is managed through the app, which is really good. So like, you don't need to um, have any other things on the side, uh, you don't need to uh, bother with the computer installation or anything, everything is through the app. Even the fingerprint, uh, if you want to add more fingerprints for, let's say, your whole family to be able just to enter with uh, one, one simple move to, to the apartment, you do it through the app. You just go to the app to add the fingerprint, and then it will give you an option to come uh, closer with the fingerprint to do the, the reading. Now it's failed, of course, because I clicked it very fast. And uh, once you click a couple of times, uh, once you press a couple of times the, the lock, it will read the new print and you can confirm it on your app. So the next user can just um, use it and open the door. Um, so far, that is yes. Of course, uh, if none of the, the the lock is perfectly safe, in a sense that all the information, the e keys or passcodes, are sent uh, to the server that go to the lock, and they're only encrypted with AES one two eight encryption, um, which is perfectly safe, uh, same as giving a key, mechanical key, to someone else. Um, if, in case there is a power shortage on the lock, let's say the battery is out, even though you get a notification about the battery status on your phone directly, how many percentage is left, you have a USB plug below that you can connect your battery um, like a power bank and it will give a power to the lock to be able to unlock. And uh, just in case, of course, the company developed the uh, ability to open with a physical key. So just in case uh, to have an additional access for you um, in case some, something goes wrong. So this is pretty much about the lock, uh, about uh, AKF lock. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to, to contact us. You can see our information right after this presentation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked the, the product. Thank you very much for watching.